Finally got a nice day, partly cloudy, storms on the horizon, but light winds. So I'm gonna see if I can get the uh, NX211 in the air. I actually did a little retrofit. I replaced the wood doll with an aluminum tube for my motor peg, my rear motor peg, so that I could use my little um, stooge for winding. And I got that C-clamp to this little little, uh, little tabletop temporarily so that we could try this. And I've also, when I, when I was bouncing, I discovered it was tail heavy, as most of my planes are. And I put uh, some of these uh, BB size uh, lead split shot pieces into the uh, nose block. Uh, had those in my uh, fishing tackle, which was handy. So, um, yeah, I'm going to do a quick glide test here just to see what it's up to. And um, let's see, hopefully it's a little bit better. Okay, something. Okay, after a few glide tests, I'm satisfied. I think I'm ready to put some turns on the rubber. So I'm gonna go ahead and mount this in my stooge, which involves putting this pin through the tube and through the uprights, just like that. And then, um, oh, I just lost a piece of lead shot. Put that back in there. This is filled out. Okay, I'm gonna wind this up with my little uh, five to one vintage winder. Oh, here comes a train. Lovely noise. I can think again. There we go. Okay. So, pull this pin out. And we'll get ready for a powered launch. Yeah. Here we go. Maybe that was a bad launch. Let me try it again, just to run out the rest of the rubber. It was vibrating. All right, 400 turns on the rubber. Okay, well, here's another 400 turns on the rubber, and this time I added another little piece of lead shot nose way. So there's actually 10 pieces in there now. It's a little crowded up there with that, uh, that very small nose block, but um, those cylinders kind of protrude inside there. Uh, oh, well, we'll, uh, we'll see what happens with this flight. Here we go. The weights are shifting inside. When I opened it up, a couple fell out. There's a 
couple more. So they're popping out of that nose block. I'm gonna have to come up with a different, different way to uh, put some weights in the nose of this thing. It'll stay stationary. That could account for why it's kind of all over the place because of those weights are getting loose inside. There's another one. And it um, it's shifting the balance of the plane as they wobble around in there. I mean, I, I'm just my hypothesis. <laughs> I don't know. 